uh, another salmon tube fly. This time we're going to tie the Gary Dog in a tube version. So, uh, black head, so black thread. I start it back, what, 3 4 mil back off the end of the copper tube here. So I'm going to use a medium gold oval. Take that down to where our tube holder is holding the tube. And then we'll wrap and touch and turn to make a, a nice solid bed for our wraps. So we'll then take this. forward three turns minimum I'd say and then as many as suits your own eye so three to five I would say Take a couple of turns off catch art tinsel and then take that up to the shank big open turns just to get it out of the way at least if we leave it long the tag end then uh, create any unevenness, any bumps. So uh, to rib this fly I'm going to use a flat gold. Uh, I'm actually going to use a gold embossed tinsel. We'll tie that in beside our other tinsel and wrap back again to the rear of the fly. The body the carry dog for me is black floss. This is a black rayon. So I've taken a length that's well, two and a half foot or so. And then I'm going to put that, the middle point of it, behind my tying thread. I'll match up the two ends. And then slide that loop down to the tie end point. Tie that in. And then we'll take our tying thread. smoothed out any missing bits, any bumps as we go. That will create a fairly even strand loss, give it a bit of a wiggle to bed it in at the start and then try and keep tension on it and it slides through your fingers and keep those two double strands side by side and they will then find their own way as you wrap them on and give you a nice neat and if you want you can burnish that with a burnishing tool to make it even smoother get to the front two turns to tie it in fold it back a couple of turns over it tie it in place and then we will rib that with our embossed gold tinsel. Said if you don't have the embossed, just use basic flat mylar tinsel or something. Get to the front. Tie it 
pay that in. You can fold that back on itself for added security if you want. is a red and a yellow wing. So I'm going to take a uh, bucktail and I'm using the tip of the bucktail where the feather, or sorry not the feather, the fibres uh, are just easier to work with in general. So I'll take a bunch of that, pull out the longest tips and realign them, grab our fly, our feather, or fur, about two thirds, three quarters of the way along, and then give it a flick at the base, and all the short stuff should fall out. And then I'm going to split my bunch into two. I'm going to tie it in about one and a half times the length. my tube, two nice tight turns or so on that, and I'll take the other half of the bunch, and I'm going to put it on, on the underside, match the tips for length, same thing, I'm keeping this covering one quarter of the shank roughly. keep it in place is to take super glue on a brush, super glue about two centimeters maybe of my tying thread and then I'm going to wrap that on. That'll hold that in position while we put on our next bunch. So the red. So if I take a red bucktail and same thing, take a bunch out of the tip of it short stuff and split the bunch in two. And offer that up to the side of the tube. Flip it over. And do the same on the other side. So that essentially is a Gary Dog tube. Uh, now, to me, I always liked a Gary Dog with a bit of uh, blue guinea fowl on it, so I'm going to add blue guinea fowl, but you can finish your fly at this stage here, if you so wish. So, super glue the tie and thread and get a couple of laps on there. Now, I'm going to take this guinea fowl. Tackle. I'm going to double it over. I have a techniques video somewhere of doubling hackles if you want to look for it. Uh, I'm just going to tie that on just behind them wraps there. Fold it back on itself. A couple of wraps just to hold it in position. And because of the sort of thickness, shortness of the hackle and the thickness of the shank, etc., that we're dealing with, you're only going to get one turn or so essentially out of a, a guinea hackle. So I'll get the turn on. Two turns over the stock to hold it in position. Fold that back. A 
that turns over it once it's locked. And that just gives us like a little blue guinea foil accent or colour at the front. Now we take our tie and thread and super glue it for what five or six centimetres or so. See those little droplets on it, and then I'm going to go start at the front and wrap back into that blob of glue. What to do? Stuck so that's So next we're going to trim that down, so we need a blade to do that, so you can use a Stanley blade, you can use a scalpel blade, a razor blade, whatever. Set it on tight up to the back of your thread, get it down onto the tube itself, and then just rotate the vise while holding that in line, and that should cut off the vast majority of Fibers. You may need to get the odd one. Trimmed and out of the way. super glue again because we have the exposed ends of our uh, bucktail. I'll just run the super glue around like a varnish. That'll give us added security on them. And then when that dries up I will take a black varnish and just uh, finish off the head with, with black varnish and then a clear coat over the top of that and we've finished. But that is our uh, Gary Dog copper tube fly. And uh, as usual, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a like, subscribe, leave some comments. Uh, and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.